In this series, we're looking at the performance characteristics of three 44 caliber projectiles. We're looking at the 140 grain round ball on the left, the 220 grain conical bullet uh, cast from a Lee mold in the center, and the 240 grain Cato bullet on the right. Now in part one of this series, we already examined the round ball. And in this video, we're gonna be looking at the 220 grain bullet in the center. We'll be using the Suverti 1860 Army Revolver as our test bed. We're going to look at three performance characteristics of these projectiles. We're going to look at velocity, we're going to look at accuracy, and we're going to look at penetration. So let's get going. We're going to go to half cock and then we're going to put in powder and today instead of using a flask I'm going to use a powder measure and I'm going to set it for 30 grains and I'm going to use that in both the conicals and the round balls. Now necessarily that will mean I'm going to get a higher velocity from the later round balls and a lower velocity from the conicals but I'll figure out the momentum values for each of the bullets so we'll see which ones hit harder. All right, I'm going to load the 1860 Army with these 220 grain Lee conicals. And I've got to tell you that modern Italian replicas are not built to take conicals, even though the originals certainly were. And they require, if you want to load on the gun, they require some modification uh, to two places. Let me put this powder charge in and I will show you. They require you to open up this area right here uh, just to get things started and then you have to open up this cut all the way back to the rammer and if you do that you can load conicals you might have to open the bottom up a little bit but pretty much that'll do it and that's what shooters who shoot conicals all the time in these Colt replicas end up doing now I'm not going to shoot conicals all the time, so I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do instead is load it off of the gun. And that's what, uh, what we're going to do right here. We're going to just pop it in. And then I'm going to take this muzzle loading short starter. And I'm going to seat it. So we'll get five of these things loaded all the way up, and then we'll grease them and we'll be good to go. If you really want to load these conicals with a rammer, it is possible. So you can see, you've got to get them started first pretty well before you rotate them underneath. But if you do, then you can get them down, which, right, which we just did. So, it's your choice, on the gun or off the gun. It's possible. It's, it's a bit more work, though. Okay, let's see how the 220 grain conical bullets that I cast uh, in the Lee mold do on the target. Okay, I pulled one shot, but other than that, really a spectacular group out of this. Okay, let's get a velocity reading on the Lee 220 grain conical bullets. 
So we'll take the other three and uh, get an average and then we'll go do the penetration test. Okay, let's run the penetration test with the 220 grain conical bullet. <laughs> I feel like I need my mask and scuba gear for this. Okay, the 220 grain conical went right through six jugs and lodged in the seventh. And here it is. Doesn't look too awful bad, huh? Let's see if we can get you on camera nice. Well, to summarize, the 220 grain conical shot a two and a quarter inch group. It had an average velocity of 718 feet per second and a muzzle energy of 258 foot pounds. In the penetration test, it went through six jugs completely, lodged in the seventh. And this is how the 220 grain conical compared to the other two bullets we tested. Now, in the next video, we're going to be testing the 240 grain conical from Cato.